Okay, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this depth tag going. Um, I'm gonna be uh, looking at my iPad for the questions because they're not like anywhere that you can just look at them. So I'd write them down, of course. But yeah, hold on. So if I keep looking up and down, just know that I'm looking at my iPad to the questions. Okay. Cool. All right. So first of all, this is the depth tag, as you already said, as I asked, as I've already said. Um. So um, let me answer in like. I think it's nine nine questions, just about uh, I guess the Air Force and whatnot. But yeah, so here we are. Question number one: uh, What's my name, age, and height? Name is uh, what's my name? Not playing. It's uh, Jared McKissick. I am 20 years old. I'll turn 21 like a few weeks after I graduate BMT, and I am five seven. Um, question number two: Where am I shipping from? I'm gonna be shipping from South Austin. Um, currently, I live in San Marcos. I went to Texas State for two years. So my uh, recruiting office is in South Austin. I think it's the only recruiting Air Force recruiting office in Austin. It's one in South Austin. I think the other one is in like Round Rock, but whatever. Um, number three, my parents' reaction. Um, my mom, she, my mom is very supportive of it. My dad really isn't. My dad is in the military, so he, he just wants me to finish school. That's all he wants, but um, I know he'll support me, you know, but he wants me to finish school or more than anything. And my mom does as well, but she also supports me with the Air Force because um, I told her my plan with the Air Force because, you know, you have to have a plan going in the military. If you go in with without a plan, it's, it's mm, yeah, I won't say it's a bad thing, but... You just need a plan. Honestly, that's with everything you do in life. You need a plan. So, you know, after I told her my plan, she was, you know, very supportive of me with that. Um, question number four, my debt date, rank, and ship date. Um, so my debt date, I'm guessing that's the day I swore into the debt. I think that was May 11th. Um, it was May 11th. I started this whole process in, like, February, and I had to get a waiver, um, medical waiver for my vision so that took like it took like six weeks to come back and anyway that's we in may 11th um my rank i was going into e3 because of my college credits um i think i have like 60 something of them so yeah e3 um my ship date is august 16th so anybody going to uh um, to ship off august 16th Let's do it, um, Air Force. Let's do it. Anybody, comment in the comment section below. Let's get to know each other, or anybody you know interested in the Air Force, or you know just in a dab or whatever, anything. Just comment below. Let's get to know each other. Let's talk, whatever. So um, my most memorable moment at MEPS is when they told me that I was disqualified because of my vision. It's a bad memory, but. It's definitely a memory. It was uh it was uh, like I'm so what I can't serve my country type of you know, type of scared type like god dang type. I wasn't like sad because I know that I have I could do other things with my life. So but I wanna join the Air Force, so of course it was like a little little bit of like, What do you mean I'm disqualified? Then they explained that I just needed a waiver. Yeah, so that's my definitely my most memorable moment. Because uh, everything else was just pretty much waiting. Hurry up and waiting. Hurry up and wait. That, so that would definitely be my most memorable moment at MEPS. Just getting disqualified the very first time I went. So, um, the best and worst parts of DEP is question number six. And I would say the worst part of DEP is the waiting. Like, right now I have 41 days I've been in the depth since I was at like 70 days or something like that and it's just I mean now that I look back on it time has flew by but like as I look at it from like right now to like the next day it's like can the next day come on like because like okay tomorrow it'll be 40 days and it'll be 39 right like, today I feel like today's been just dragging so I guess the worst part of depth is just the waiting part but you got to keep yourself busy so that doesn't, so that, like, I guess, it doesn't go by as slow. If you stay busy, it'll go by fast. Um, don't stay busy, it'll go by slow. <laughs> but the best part of the depth is just knowing that you, you, 
I don't know, you just have your, your future in the Air Force set up and it's there. Like, you don't have anything else to do until you go to basic. You can just sit back, relax, you know, stack up a little money before you go. Or, I don't know, however long you have, how long, hi, however long you have. I think when I first, my job, I booked my job in May and I leave in August, so three months of just relaxing or, you know, just knowing that I have my, my job set up for me. So I guess the best part is just, just knowing your, knowing your future, you know knowing that what you have in front of you, you know, within the Air Force, so, yeah. Question number seven, something I will miss while at boot camp. Um, something I'll miss while at boot camp, definitely my family and friends, um, but just, I guess just having time to myself, like, I like having, like, time to myself, and I know in basic I'm always gonna be with somebody. I know for sure I always have to have a wingman wherever I go, and that's gonna irritate me, but I just sometimes I just like to have time to myself, just so does everybody else, you know. So that would definitely be the thing I'm gonna miss most while at boot camp, uh, or should I say BMT? Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to traveling, I'm looking forward to the experience I get in my job. <laughs> the job that I got, um, <clears throat> it's cyber transport and I basically be like a network administrator for the Air Force, which is what, what I want to do Like network administration. That's what I wanted to do like in like with my degree, which was in uh, information systems I don't have it yet, but that's what I was going after so like that job is like literally right in line with the, what I want to do with myself so just looking forward to like traveling the experience meeting people <clears throat> um just everything that I, I want to experience, like everything about the Air Force. I want to, I want to make my time in the Air Force worth it. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in for four, six, four, well, four years first because I signed a four-year contract. But I don't know if I'm gonna stay in for however long. I may stay till retirement. I don't know. It just all depends on how it is when I get in. I don't know. My dad did. I have an aunt did. My uncle is. So it just, you know, they they like it. So I mean, I never know. But I didn't want to sign a six year contract and then not like it, then hate it for four years <laughs> to re get ready to get out. So until I got out, so I signed a four year contract just to see. Um, I know I'll be able to reenlist after a four year contract. And if I don't, then my, you know, I I would have finished my degree and um, have experience in a certain job that I want. So it's not like I'm set myself up for failure or anything I, you know i'm setting myself up for success regardless of whatever I, I take so yeah um question number nine is how am i preparing for boot camp um so i have a friend my, my brother my brother that's my brother i know him since like fourth third second grade second through fourth somewhere in there i met him we became we became irreparable inseparable from there there we go so uh he in the air force so i always ask him questions i mean sometimes i mean i don't even ask my recruiter questions no more like she like sometimes never mind anyway i just ask <laughs> i just ask him questions about like bmt because he he graduated in march and it's now july so you know he's kind of still fresh in his head but um so i was talking to him about it i run every day i know the uh, pt test in the air force is a mile and a half so every day i not well every other day i'll go and run two miles but as i get closer to basic i'm going to start running every day just to get my legs prepared for uh the uh the oh, just the stress you know not the not the stress but like the the constant physical activity even though i work out a lot but i don't i used to didn't not run a lot so now i'm just going to start running a lot just so i can uh, go ahead and get in that that uh cardio mentality i guess you can say so yeah i've just been running a lot and doing doing more cardio stuff instead of like lifting weights um trying to stay up as long as i can I, you know i already can stay up like okay say i wake up at like 6 a.m and i wouldn't go i won't i won't allow myself to go to sleep until like midnight and then i wake up at 6 a.m and try and do it again you know it's just so i can get my myself prepared to like stay up all day you know even if it's like boring got you can't go to sleep so yeah i guess that's what um that's how i prepare just working out and preparing my my mind mentally to stay awake all day i mean you know it's not hard but you know be, be bah, basic isn't hard either but you know it's just all about what you make it so if i go ahead and prepare myself to get the sleep out of my system now and do all that and get all the uh, 
the working out part, you know, checked off my list, so I know that I'm good there. It'll just be easier for me, so that's what I'm just, that's how I'm preparing. Um, try and memorize my, uh, my ranks and all that good stuff, and, uh, I know reporting statement is easy, but um, just like trying to remember information, like the Air Force song, the Creed, and all that stuff. Just trying to, just trying to remember it. I know it's once I get there, it's gonna, you know, kind of be drilled in. So not really worried about it. But yeah, so yeah. For any of y'all who are in the depth or going to MEP soon or think about the Air Force, I think you should do it definitely. I ain't even in yet. I just, I just know it's a good lifestyle. Like, even if you get stationed in a bad place, you know, you're stationed at this, this place with like thousands of other people who you could just, you know, automatically connect with, you know? So, it's just all about what you make it. So, anybody who, you know, in depth or just graduated basic or thinking about going or whatever, go ahead and comment in the comment section below if you see this video. Um, let me know what your job is, you know, where you want to take school or I don't know, just something, you know, get to know each other, you know, Air Force buddies or something like that. We may, we may get stationed in the same place somewhere that we may already know each other. So you never know. But um, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Uh, thank you for watching and keep moving forward. Let's do this, y'all. Continue moving forward.